Hey, what's up? John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com. And today I'm going to answer a question that I get quite often from those of you who follow my channel and follow my blog, which is, should I get a degree? Should I get a degree? Let me try to say that. Should I get a degree? Should I get a degree in software development or computer science? So should I get a degree in computer science or software development? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I do know, actually. I, well, I've got some opinions on it, and feel free to disagree with me. But uh, if you do, I'll just delete your uh, your comment. <laughs> no, I won't do that. Oh my gosh, you guys are so so easy to fool. Or, or late at night, I don't know. Anyway, so. Should you get a degree in software and learn computer science? Is there actually a difference? Well, there kind of is a difference, and I'll, I'll tell you what what I think here. So. Uh, you know, without belaboring it, I would say get a degree in software development and go back and learn computer science. And I'm going to tell you why. So computer science isn't going to go and change on you. <laughs> Not very much, right? Big O notation is going to be big O notation, and you're going to, you know, there's going to be linked lists, there's going to be binary trees, there's going to be sorting algorithms, and I seriously doubt we're going to find uh, a faster sorting algorithm anytime soon. So that stuff isn't going to change. But I'll tell you what will change on you, which is software development, right? The, the actual technologies and languages and things like that. And so if you can learn, the more valuable skill, the more changing skill before it changes, right? That's going to be a little bit better for you than just going to school to learn computer science. And at first you might think this is backwards, right? So, well, wait a minute, John, shouldn't you just go to college and learn computer science and then learn software development on your own? And, uh, and the reason why I don't think that that's the case is because if you're going to pay to be educated on a subject, right? Then why not pay for the one that that requires a little bit more experience and knowledge to be able to teach you? And what I mean by that is that software development, right? Probably the degree program you're going to go through software development is probably going to be a more up-to-date program, which is going to give you more applicable skills. And hopefully, you know, college is sort of a guided way to learn, right? You can learn anything on your own. But if you're going to go through a guided way to learn, you probably should use the expertise of that of that time, right? So, so I think it's more likely that a software development program uh, is going to be more up to date. It's going to probably be teaching you the technologies that are more more current and. By learning the more current technologies, right, you're going to be better equipped to go out and get a job after you get your degree, which is going to help you to be able to pay back the money from the degree. Hopefully, you haven't gone in debt. Uh, if you, you know, are considering going into major debt to get a degree, may I point you to my playlist of questions about college, <laughs> and uh, and may I discourage you from doing that because it'll take you a long time to pay that debt back. It seems like a good idea, but no. Instead, try to figure out a cheaper way to go to college. There's a lot of alternatives. I'm not going to discuss them here. But what I wouldn't talk about is, again, this idea between you know a software development degree and a computer science degree. Now, again, there's a lot of differences between different degrees, right? You could get a computer science degree from one school and it could be totally different and totally different material than it would be from another school. But in general, computer science is going to talk about or going to prepare you. It's going to have some programming, of course, right? But it's going to have some things like the the history of, of computing, of you know, the, the, all the kind of co computer science things that we consider data structures and algorithms, and it's going to include like operating system theory, and it's going to include possibly uh, probably some kind of course on compilers and and language design and things like that, right? These more more theor not theoretical but more of the computer science, right? That these are the, the foundations of, of computers and how they work and how programming works, right? As opposed to just the developing software, right? And like I said, those things you are important to learn, I think, in order to be a really good software developer, but you don't need to know them right away, right? Those aren't the things that are, that as a beginning developer are going to help you very much in your career, right? What is going to help you is having the current technology. And so again, that's why I'm saying, like, if you're going to go through the program and you're going to pay this money, get a software devel developer degree, like software development degree is probably going to consist of more 
program maybe like a couple of different programming languages, maybe some classes on different frameworks, on databases. Uh, it should probably include something on like some big projects, like a couple classes that are projects that you're working on teams. It should have things on source control, right? And possibly even like DevOps today, I would expect that kind of thing in a degree program. It's gonna just prepare you a lot more for when you get onto the real world to get a job, right? So whereas computer science is going to be more more theoretical, more stuff that, that you understand the foundations of everything, but you're not going to necessarily be able to apply that right away, right? So I'm trying to think of some some other way, like some other field where, where this would, would make sense. It's almost like this is a very bad comparison, but let's say that, I mean, essentially mechanics works on physics, right? So if you, if you went to school and you got a degree uh, to become a mechanic, like let's say an auto mechanic, that would be a practical application of the, the physics behind it, right? Because an automobile is all physics, right? If you think about it, right? So if you, if you said, well, you know, which degree should I get? I want to work on cars. You know, I would probably tell you, go ahead and get a degree as a, in, in auto mechanics because that's the more practical application. But if you want to understand in a very deep level, how automobiles work and how the actual, you know, the, the, the physics behind it, then you would want to get the degree in physics or some, probably some branch of physics that would, would make sense. So that, again, that's probably a pretty bad analogy. I, I realize that, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out, you know, we're, we're talking about in computer science and computer programming, we're talking about an abstract thing, right? So it's, it's a little bit hard to make some of these uh, comparisons in this case, but, but that's basically what it is, right? Is that I'd rather see you like if you're gonna pay a lot of money, if you're gonna spend a lot of time, get the practical knowledge that should be closer to, to uh, what, what's changing, where, where you, getting some guidance is gonna help you, right? Whereas you could get computer science information anywhere. You could pick up books. You, like if you said, what is everything that's in computer science and can I learn it? That's like, I can give you a list, right? Anyone can give you a list and you can go learn that stuff on your own, right? But it's, it's not a hard list. But if you said, what is software development and how can I learn it? Having an expert laying that out for you in the progression is going to be more valuable because that's changing all the time and it's, it's, it's more convoluted. It's more opinionated, right? You, you kind of need, there's multiple paths, multiple ways you could go. With computer science, it's, it's, more, it's, it's more finite. It's more fixed. Everyone kind of knows what the, the body of knowledge of computer science is. There's some variations in what you could learn. And, you know, electives and classes you could take, but it generally fits in a box where software development, no way, right? <laughs> what are you, you're gonna use JavaScript? Are you gonna, you know, do functional programming? Are you gonna do procedural programming, object-oriented programming, right? Are you gonna do mobile development? You, you see what I'm saying? That's why that one is more difficult to learn on your own unless you kind of know and have that direction. So again, it's up to you. I think both are, are valuable as far as degrees go. I'm not a huge proponent of, of you know, higher education. I'd prefer that people learn a lot of things on their own and not pay a lot of money to universities. And I think today that's a very possible choice, especially, you know, consider a coding bootcamp as, as well. I think that's, uh, I've definitely done some videos. Check out the interview that I did with Engineered Truth. I think that's probably the, the best talk about coding bootcamp that, that I have there. Um, if you are considering college in general, um, you know, or how to learn to become a software developer, definitely you know, check out a bunch of videos on my YouTube channel here. I've got a ton of videos, but I'll also point you to uh, a blog post. Actually, so I'm writing a book, probably have written it by the time you're watching this video, that is, t that talks about this, right? That tells you, you know, talks about the choices between, do you want to go to college? Do you want to learn on your own? Do you want to go to coding bootcamp and kind of contrast those? You can go here and, and click the link and you'll get access to the chapters of the book totally free. You can buy the whole book if you want when it's finished, when it comes out, but you can also get the chapters free. It'll be emailed to you every week as they come out. And uh, those chapters are already published, I believe. So if you sign up, you'll be able to get access to those and those are on the blog as well. 
But uh, yeah, this is an important decision. And, and like I said, it's my opinion. I would say, you know, get the degree, if you're gonna do the degree, do it in software development and learn the computer science stuff on your own. I think it's harder to go the other way. And that, that's probably the biggest argument I would lay out for you is if you get the computer science degree, learning the software development part of it is it is gonna be harder because you're gonna have more questions. So, because you, you, the path isn't as laid out, right? It, it's, it's just not as clear. So having that path laid out is worth possibly paying some money to have you know a structured program. So anyway, uh, if you like this video, I have a favor to ask of you, which is to click the subscribe button so that you can get more videos like this and you can see me flexing in front of, the, I like these lights. All right. <laughs> oh. All right, I'll talk to you next time, take care.